Drive World has just updated, so let's check it out. Heading into the shop and looking at the new cars, we have one new car in the shop. This car is called the Stallion Patrol. And you can only get this car if you have the police pass. And here are the customizations for it. And it doesn't seem like there's too many customizations on this car. And at max, it has a score of 1,034 and a horsepower of 1,303. And this police car is able to get around 330 miles per hour. And it seems pretty quick, actually. So making this lower than 1,000 score, this might actually be pretty good in that restriction. And the other main things they changed is changing the map from a square to a circle and making the money bigger and moving the buttons on the bottom to the left side of the screen. But one problem with this UI is that the buttons on the left, when you have a smaller screen, they actually overlap the map and money. And one of the changes they did, if you head into free cam, you can see that there's a whole bunch of hot air balloons around the map. But I'm not sure if these actually have hitboxes or if they're just here for looks. And now heading on to the weekly quests, we have basically the same challenges as before. And we have a new stallion. And with that, I'll start off with showing you the five USA parts. For the very first part, head over to this trailer delivery spot right here. And you'll see the part up here, and the best way I've found to get this part is to go over to this side of the building. And you'll want to spawn in a big car like the full E. And then you'll jump up on top of it, and then you can just jump onto this building and spawn a new car. For the next part, head over to this trailer delivery spot right here. And right back here behind this bridge, you'll see the next part. For the next part, head over to Tunnel Sprint right here. And right on this mountain, you'll see the next part. And for the second to last part, head over to Race Circuit or this trailer delivery spot right here. And you can see that they added a new speed trap and right behind it, there's the next part. And for the very last part in the USA map, head over to Half Pipe Butte. And right on this dirt path, you'll see the next part. And now with that, let's head over to the Japan map so I can show you the other five parts. Now into the first part in the Japan map, head over to this place right here, Speedway. And right in these trees, you'll see the next part. For the next part, head over to this place right here, Saishin Rally. And right over here, you'll see the next part. For the third part, head over to Scenic Route Trail. And right down here, you'll see the next part. For the fourth part, head over to this race right here, Kiroshoge. And right on the left side of this bridge, you'll see the next part. For the last part in the Japan map, head over to this food delivery spot right here. And right down here, you'll see the last part. And now with that, let's complete the rest of these challenges and check out this new stallion.
And there we go. We have completed all the challenges. So let's collect them and try out this new stallion. At stock, it has a score of 421 and a horsepower of 459. And at max, it has a score of 1,019 and a horsepower of 1,303. And now let's check out the customizations. This one's also able to get around 330 miles per hour, and this must be like the exact same car, just not in the police form. And with that being said, I think that's basically everything in this update. They didn't do too much because they're planning bigger updates in the future, and I'll see you in the next video.